All right, guys, so today is December 22nd, and uh, we're gonna start today off with, well, well, let me let me double back. Today's Friday, December 22nd, the Friday before Christmas. So I expect today to be a little hectic, very hectic. So yeah, we're gonna start today off with, uh, um, with uh, medicine, um, well, a pharmacy delivery. And uh, we're going to Manhattan. So I'm picking up in Jackson Heights. All right, come on, calm down. Calm, come on. I'm picking up in Jackson Heights and I'm going to Lower Manhattan, $41. Pretty easy. Just pick up, drop off, make sure I deliver it to a person, and that's it. That's it. I just can't leave it. If there's no one, I'm going to return it. $40 more dollars. But I'm going to try to get someone. I think we're going down to Canal Street in Chinatown. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> that's going to be really interesting. Probably a Chinese person. Might be impossible to find. But I'll try to give him a call and locate them. We're 28 minutes away from the pickup. And I was trying to get something else going into Manhattan. But I don't know if that's possible. I don't know if they stack um, pharmacy deliveries. I don't know. They can step, you could have multiple, but I don't know if they'll add another gig to the pharmacy um, delivery. I tried it. I tried it with one going to the Bronx before it. It wasn't allowing me. So I don't know. And I just tried and I got, my offer wasn't selected. But I'm going to keep trying. And if I do get something, I'm going to let you guys know. The goal today, $200. We're not going home in less than 200 because I didn't work the last couple days. Wednesday and Thursday, no work. Right now we're at 600 plus for the week, I think. You know, with the adjustment pay and everything included. I forgot where we're at for the week, but I'ma let you know. I'ma let you know. I don't wanna be too long on the intro, but I wanna give you guys all the information, you know, possible. We're currently at, um, well, let me see. Well, we're, we're, we're in the 600s because the Uber Eats adjustment pay did come in on Thursday. So I'm gonna add that to the, to the tally. So when I do, I'm gonna let you know for sure. But we're in, in the 600. So at the end of the day, we should be 800 plus for the week with Saturday and Sunday left to deliver. And I'm looking to add another 400 to 500 to the tally. Sounds, sounds good. So guys, we're gonna talk, man. We're gonna talk. All right, guys, just pulled up to the location. I gotta park and walk around the corner and I couldn't add anything else to the gig. So I guess it's gonna be $41 and you know, yeah, we come back from Manhattan with something. I'm trying to line up something, but it's a bit difficult. But guys, let's get this, this um, medication picked up and get going. It's now 312, should be wrapped up by four o'clock with this gig. Not, not a bad start, not a bad start at all. All right, guys, we're in Jackson Heights. I think we're going to this place, um, Catholic Charities or something. Yeah, anyways, I gotta cut you off right now. All right, guys, we got the package and it's in a bag so that the person's personal information is hidden. Guys, on roadie, you gotta be certified for medication delivery. Have to, it's no way around it. So let's drop this off in Manhattan. It's going to a doctor's office. He said we could leave it at the front desk, which is absolutely perfect. So we don't have to be running around chasing anybody. Guys, let's go. So guys, it said that it's gonna take us an hour to get there. <laughs> I actually wanted to add more things to the trip, but it didn't work out, man. But I'm not complaining though which means um, it's gonna be like an hour and a half. In an hour and a half, let's say hour 35 minutes, we're gonna make $41, which is not bad. And we're not doing any work. The only thing we're doing is driving, pretty much, right? So guys, um, if something comes up, I'ma let you know, but we're heading straight to Manhattan. We'll be there in an hour or less. Hopefully traffic eases up. So guys, let me tell you, it's good to build relationship with these apps, the apps that you could build relationships with. Like in my instance, Metrobeat, they are very hands-on app. 
Like they will call you, they will guide you through things if, you're, if, if it's the first time you're doing it. And they kept sending me this gig to pick up from a wine, a liquor store in Manhattan. I'm going to Manhattan already. $41. The gig is paying $39. So I hit them up through the, through the text that they always, you know, message me through. And I and I got to save it. I got to save it on the Metrobi. So I need to actually reply and say thank you. Dirty stack, baby. Thank oh, you. Oh, yeah. So I seen the gig, but the time was 3 o'clock. It's now 3.23, but no one would take it. So they kept pushing back the time. They pushed it to 3.30. So I, I figured, I said, you know what? If, if no one takes it, let me, because I wanted to give someone else a chance. I didn't want to be too greedy, you know? So if no one else takes it, I'm going to just hit him up and say, hey, man, what, what's up with this? Could I reach there? Could you push the time back? So I hit him up, send them the picture, everything, and then they, they took the gig off the app. So if you're a preferred driver, they could do things like that. Well, let me not let me not spill the beans too much, but, um, you know, <laughs> let me not spill the beans too much. But if you let me just say, if you're a preferred driver, and you're a reliable driver and you're going to walk through a marathon barricade to deliver things then they hook you up you see what i'm saying they hook you up oh man they're about to hit that bike they're about to hit that bike so anyways they sent me the gig so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna hit well as, as a matter of fact my eta right now my eta right now for the roadie gig is 411 they pushed the gig back to 430 for 430 pickup on metrobi so they give Met metrobi give me until 430 to pick it up so i could either pass pick it up and drop off the roadie gig or i could drop off the roadie gig and then head straight there i'm gonna work the logistics out and see which one's quicker and which one's more convenient for me and that's the, 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 the route I'm going to choose. And best believe, while I'm in Manhattan, I'm going to take a roadie gig going off Manhattan as well. So, guys, we're about to hit $100, like, real quick. And I mean real quick. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to show you how to multi-app and uh, make fast money, make it um, efficiently, and do some unconventional things as well. Meaning, go places where no one else wants to go, like Manhattan, across the bridges, you know, across the tunnels, into the, the far reach areas, you know, those kind of places. Guys, I'll keep you posted. All right, guys, so I figured it out. We were scheduled to be there at 4.11. It's now 3.29. So I used um, Apple Maps, something I don't do often enough, and I added a stop. If you already have a stop, what I realized, if you already have a stop and you add a stop, it's going to go to that stop first. So the stop that you want to go to, I think first you have to add it last. I think that's how it works, something like that. I'm not 100% sure. But we are 35 minutes away from the liquor store. So we're going to make it there early. The time I told them I'm going to make it there, the time I told them... This guy not moving, man. Just move about the crosswalk, man. Jesus Christ. Some people are so stupid, man. I'm telling you, for no reason at all. Just move up, bro. But anyways, man, we're going to get there at 4-4. And then we're going to take another 15 minutes to get to the roadie gig. And then when I drop off the roadie gig... Then I'm gonna hit Roadie again to see if I get anything coming off of Manhattan on Roadie. But there'd be a lot of gigs that no one no one else wants to do that needs doing. So I'm gonna do that. And we're gonna take a total closer to $100. And once we get into Brooklyn, we, we, we're gonna figure things out from there. We're gonna line something up. Guys, let's make this money, man. This guy in front of me here, right here, is a real, he's a real dickhead. He's a real dickhead. Trust and believe that. There's a lot of dickheads out here, man, in New York City. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. One very, very important thing. Look at this dickhead looking at me. Oh, 
I'm a dickhead too. <laughs> ah, let's get it. All right, guys. So we are four minutes away from Union Square Wines and Spirits. And if you check the map right there, you'll see how it's routed perfectly. So I'm not even going off the, the you know, I'm not, it's not a detour. It's been basically coming into Manhattan via the, excuse me, <laughs> via the, um, the, what you call it, the, the tunnel, the Queens Manhattan, the Midtown, whatever it's called, the Midtown Tunnel, I think. Yeah, Queens Manhattan, whatever that tunnel is called. So me coming over here via that tunnel and heading to the, the liquor store and then heading straight to the roadie drop off, you know, so it's just perfect alignment, man. $80. We're on an $80 run right now. I'm, I'm not bothered. I'm, let me just say I'm unbothered right now. I'm just chilling. Just chilling right about now, man. You know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> it's working out, man. It's working out. All right, guys. You're going to park dirty right over there. Oh, shit. Did I leave? Oh, no. Light's just on. Well, yeah, I think we're going right here. The original Licateria. They're gonna go right here. All right. All right, guys, I think I'd rather risk it over on the other side. We have to go one street over. I'd rather risk it over there than here, though. Because <laughs> this is a little far away from, from there. All right, guys, got the package, something small. Let's, let's, let's go, let's go to the next stop. To the doctor's office, Rody. All right, go. guys got that picked up and we are six minutes away let me get out of here let me get in line before i get stuck we are six minutes away no 15 minutes away from the roadie drop off which is absolutely perfect 4 35 you know not too late could always blame traffic you know what i mean so the plan would be we have until 5 to drop off the Metro B um, order, but I don't think it really matters to be honest because things like traffic is not like factored in. That's the thing. So, yeah. You know, we gotta watch for people crossing here in Manhattan though. Very important. Very, very important. But I should have went. No, there's a million people crossing. So, um, so yeah, guys, so I want to line up something to go to Brooklyn. Cause we got time. We got time. So if I could get something lined up, that'll, that'll work out really, really nicely, man. Cause that's what we do. We're making money right now as fast and efficient as possible. So it was a good idea to come to Manhattan after all. <laughs> And the traffic is very light right now. It's only 421. If I wait until five, if I'm in Manhattan, five o'clock, eh, I need to get out of the whole Manhattan, downtown Brooklyn area as fast as I can. But we're doing good. We're doing really good. All right, guys, we're in the elevator going up to the fifth floor. We part really dirty. You gotta make this quick. Guys, I'll see you in the car. <laughs> Seriously, this Manhattan is no joke, man. Six dollars for parking, hell no. All right, where we at? All right, guys, got that dropped off. And as soon as I pulled up there, this Chinese lady, she came to the door and she asked me if I wanted Louis Vuitton. What am I, what are you looking for? Louis Vuitton, what do what, what you want? What do you want, a Louis Vuitton? You want Louis Vuitton? You want a Louis Vuitton? Like, nah, man, I'm just doing a delivery, man. Chill. Guys, 30 minutes away from the drop off. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. So, I put in for two roadie gigs. So, hopefully I get them. They're going back to my neck of the woods. Once for $27, Home Depot. And once for $35, Best Buy Picker. Oh man, I beat the meter guy. I beat him. I beat him. If that, that Chinese lady at the freaking receptionist desk, well, I should say the receptionist, she tried to hold me up. They told me I could leave this with the receptionist. She trying to hold me up. And that guy, the, the ticket guy, oh man, he just walking up there really fast. He looks like he's from India. <laughs> and he looks like he was walking up there to give me a ticket. So I had to be in and out of there, man. 
So, yeah, guys, let me see if I can I get those Home Depot gigs. As a matter of fact, I'm going to cancel the gigs and put back in for them because I did put in for them while I was on the pharmacy gig, and it don't look like they allow you to stack those. It don't look, it don't look like it, guys. Once you have those, you can't add nothing else because it's like medication. They want you to go like straight there. So I'll let you know, I'm gonna put back in for those roadie gigs and I'm gonna let you know if I get them or not. You know, Bed-Stuy, downtown Brooklyn, not the best pickup locations, but it's okay, man. It's okay, guys, you're gonna make it work. You're gonna make it work. If we get those, that, that's another $60. And uh, I don't mind going through the, the a little hassle for 60 bucks. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. So guys, I'll keep you posted, man. Let's go across the Brooklyn Bridge. And well, we're actually going across the Williamsburg Bridge, it seems. So yeah, and then um, we'll talk after that. All right, guys, so. All right, I don't need to be here. Them suckers, I need to go straight. Them suckers, they only give me the Best Buy gig that's paying $35. I'll take it, I'll take the $35 to go back, you know, over to Woodmere. And hopefully I could get an Instacart order from the, the Costco around the area or shipped, something. But listen, if the Instacart order is right, if it's paying 50, 60 bucks and it's telling us to go back to Brooklyn, that's where we're gonna go because that's how we're gonna make the money faster. Doesn't matter if it's bulky. We 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 going we gonna play Hulk and we're gonna get it done. You see what I mean? I don't wanna rhyme too much, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna I don't I don't wanna be like cars and cribs and rhyme too much. <laughs> you know, bulk and hulk is enough. But um we are 26 minutes away from this drop-off, but we are passing the best buy. So I'm thinking Maybe if I see a parking spot open up, I could like run in, you know, I could park and run into the Best Buy, scoop that up, you know, maybe, maybe that could be the strategy. But also, the this drop off is not far from the Best Buy, which is, you know, also a good thing. So, yeah, but traffic over here could be a little severe right now. It's looking good, it's looking good. Once I pass Flatbush Extension, but still. It would have been better if I could, you know, could have picked that up and just go on, go on about my business. But um, <clears throat> we're not going to mess up the Metro B order. We're going to drop that off, get that off our hands, get there in good time, and then move on to the next thing. I don't want to be having that, that paranoia right about now. No paranoia for me right about now. Who knows? I might still pass by the Best Buy and pick it up if it, it looks like it's, it's feasible. Otherwise, Metro will be drop off first. All right, let's get back to um, watching some dashing across America. Chuck, what up, bro? What up? All right, guys, I'm parked back there and I'm gonna walk to the drop off because I gotta head back that direction anyways. But damn, I was in the bike lane right there, guys. I almost got swiped out. You didn't even realize. <laughs> But yeah, man, I'm going to drop off the Metro B order first and then head back to the Best Buy. That could wait. There's no rush on that, you know? And I think, oh, I should check and see if there's a shipped order available down there. I could go and get that. I could go and pick up the shipped order. If it's something quick, Instacart or shipped. Yeah, I could complicate my life, guys. <laughs> right, guys, we're in the elevator. Going up to the third floor. And this, this has went very, very well. Smooth, 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 smooth. Metro B, man. One of my favorite apps. If I was in Brooklyn, I would, uh, you know, do more Metro B. Well, let's go, let's go. All right, guys. Oh, man, this bike coming up here. Guys, we're back in the car. And let's head to Best Buy. Let's move. Let's go. Let's move. Let's head to Best Buy. I don't know if I'm going to get lucky with a parking spot right now. But, um... I did bag something on shipped, $29, and we pick it up some cake decoration supplies. That's what it looks like, 13 items, and we could take that route on the way to drop off the roadie orders. Dirty listen, stack, baby. Oh, listen, yeah. we're going to make it happen, man. We're going to definitely make it happen. So, um, yeah, 
that order is let me see my orders it's giving me an hour and three minutes to shop it's to deliver six o'clock to seven o'clock so yeah the order only costs 32 dollars and it's paying out 2902 so that's that's perfect man it's prepaid as well so we just gotta go pick those things up quick checkout out of there i think i might actually park if i can't find a good parking spot I might park in a parking complex that's behind the store. Maybe, I don't know. But if I if I get lucky with the parking, where I park close to this um this little garden and walk, yeah, I think I could make that happen. So yeah, we're already late to the pickup. It says 5.09 and I'm 16 minutes away. Wow. It's a little drive over there. But yeah, guys, I'll see you at Best Buy and Target. All right, guys, so we're going to Best Buy. We at the um, Atlantic Terminal Mall. And then when we are done from Best Buy, we're gonna go across the bridge, the Sky Bridge, and we are going to um, pick up those orders for shipped because we parked in the parking garage, which is always the best thing to do on a busy day. That's what I realized. On a Sunday, you can park in the street because there's no traffic, so. I think I'm figuring it out, guys, how to get gigs from downtown Brooklyn, so let's go, man. Roadies mostly to the back of the store, I think, so let's see if it's the same. All right, guys, got the Best Buy packages. What I'm going to do, the Target is like right there, but these packages are too bulky to take over the Target unless I could get, um, what you call it? Unless I could get, is that a target right there? Let me see something. All right, guys, we got most of the things there and we had to come upstairs for the other stuff. So let's get it. So guys, this is, <laughs> this is where we were supposed to find our things. L48, where is it at? It's empty. It's all empty over here. I don't know if they moved this shit. Hello, did they? Did they move the stuff or everything sold out? Uh, it's for Valentine's Day. Huh? We set up Valentine's Day. Oh, they moved it for Valentine's? Well, the stuff that was here, that should be in the aisle. Oh, it should be. All right, guys, <laughs> it's 6.30. So the whole process probably took us, it took us a little while. It took us a little while, but it's okay, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. The ship shop took me a little longer than I expected, but they were out of some items. Just a few items, and that's what held it up. But I'm gonna go back to the parking garage. The next time you see me, I'll be on the road. All right, guys, so um, we're 20 minutes away from the ship drop-off. I think we are gonna be just on time. I think we're supposed to deliver between six and seven. So this is going to an apartment, so um, might be late. <laughs> might mark us, mark us as late, but it's okay. I don't really care, though. I'm not really stressing myself over latenesses on these apps when you come to a freaking shopping center like downtown Brooklyn, Atlantic Mall, where it's just a shit show down there. And if you don't park in a parking garage, <laughs> you can't find any parking on the streets. And if you do park on the streets, you're risking it because even if you find a metered parking, you, the meter could run out. You see what I mean? You, you risk getting a ticket. These apps ain't gonna pay your tickets. So, yeah. Let's get this dropped off and then head to these roadie drops. Basically heading back home, making money. That's all I'm looking at. I'm not stressed. All right, guys, we are here. I think I gotta ring the bell. All right, let's find the apartment, ring the bell, and we're gonna leave this. Okay, right here. All right, guys, so guess guess how long it's gonna take to get to the roadie drop off. 39 minutes, 6.4 miles. That means we're gonna go through a lot of local traffic. Not like traffic, traffic, but we're gonna take the local route, I should say. So I'll be watching some um, YouTube videos on my way. Big up to the boy Nova Dasher. I'll be watching some of his videos on the way there. Um, who knows, might turn on some dashing across America. Big up to the Nola grind, big up to the, the hustling hyena, Tony. 
Big up to driving with Ty. Saw my peeps right there. Who else? Who else? Big up to, big up to, um, damn. Big up everybody, big up yourself, man. If I ain't shout you out, it's just because I'm running a blank right now. You know? <laughs> but big up yourself. Anyways, guys, let's get these roadie gigs dropped off and keep it moving. And guys, I'm back, I'm back. I, I, I just got off, just got off, but I'm back. I just lined up a shipped order from the, the Target over in Woodmere, Rockaway, Five Towns area, right? Ro Rockaway Turnpike. 20 bucks, nine items. We're gonna scoop that up, man. We're gonna make it happen. Easy 20 bucks. That's how I like it. Not 40 items, but nine items, nine simple items as well. So we got something in the queue. We're gonna keep making that money. It would have been nice if I could add another one, but I don't think they're gonna let me add another one because there's a lot of them in Queens, the Queens South Zone, which is my zone. So, guys, I'll see you, I'll see you soon. Guys, what the fuck? I'm just looking at the order that I did today, and that was 50 bucks, $50. I don't know if the customer added a tip after, these people got money though, you know what I'm saying? But $50. So that trip to Manhattan, the trip to Manhattan, the pick the pick up and drop off, you know, well, the, the, let's say the drop off and then the pick, well, I, uh, well, but I picked up, I picked up, I dropped off, I dropped off, basically, right? I did my own route on two apps and I made a total of $50 on Metrobi. I didn't even realize that. And 4132 on roadie and it's still processing. I don't know why, but it's still processing. So we made 9132 for that run. 9132. God damn. And this run that we're on right now is um let me take a screenshot of this gig. I didn't. So 3561 and shipped. Damn man. Payment. $29.98. So basically $30. And I don't know if the customer is going to add more, but more tips. I don't know. Let me see if there was tips on there. Yeah, there was actually no tips on that order for the cake stuff. So that customer might add some tips. That was all promo. So that was like all order pay and promo. No tips. So I might get a tip on that. The tips do come in late sometimes. So, um, but let's say we don't get any tips. This order would basically be $35 and uh, let me see, I'll let you know, $35 and 65, 65.59, 65.59 and 91. We're over 150 and we got that shipped order lined up over on uh, Rocco and Turnpike. That's gonna be 170 and then we just finish it off with a couple orders. And the drop off for the shipped, not far. So who knows? Might get another one. Instacart. We're not going to be out super late to make $200 at all. Nice. All right, guys. This box, leave that right there. All right, guys. We got the second drop off for the roadie gig. I think it's here. Yep, 118. Let's get this dropped off. And the door is open. Perfect, man. Oh, man. Perfect. All right, let's find our apartment. All right, guys, we're here at Target. We're going to be um, doing this ship order. Pick these nine items up real fast and get out of here. Let's get it. All right, guys, we have everything shipped for. I, I mean, shopped. Look at this speed racer. Look at this speed racer. I hate people driving so stupid. I told you guys about these New York dickhead drivers already today, guys. I did. I gotta take my. I gotta. I gotta speak really low because I don't want to talk too loud and that guy come out of his car and try to beat me up, you know. But good luck with that. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's drop this off. Drop this off right here. All right, guys, got that dropped off. And if I do anything else, I'll let you know. If not, I'll come back with the numbers. 
All right, guys, so it's actually 10, 10 on the dot. And I actually ended up going to Far Rockaway, but um, I figured I'm gonna call it the night. So yeah, that last order was dropped off in Far Rockaway, that shipped order. So it was like back to back. After I dropped off the last Best Buy, I just went straight to the Target, did the ship, dropped that off. So if you check the timestamp, that's basically when we finished. So. We were, we did, we, look, from 2.30 to 10.30 is eight hours. We basically delivered for about seven hours. It's about seven hours, you know, or less. A lot of time we spend traveling. And that's, that's the name of the game, driving, traveling. It's not a lot of miles, but it took long because, you know, driving through Brooklyn just takes long. So guys, these are the numbers for today. I'm gonna call it a night. I could go on a little bit longer, maybe for another hour, but I gotta be smart. I have to wake up at, let's say about 3.50 in the morning to go to work. So roadie today, we made 77.59. We did two gigs, but three drop-offs, pretty, pretty solid. Metro B, $50. Big up to Metro B, man. Coming in clutch right there. Big up to the people from the app that they know I'm reliable and they sent me that order. And I got it done, 50 bucks. It was originally 39. I don't know how it came out to 50, but I'm not gonna complain. Ship came in clutch today, guys, with $53.16. None of these orders had a tip on it. So I don't know if a tip would be added later. That would be really, you know, appreciated. So if that happens, I'm going to let you know as well. But guys, we made a total of $180.75. Insane. Insane. It's simply insane that we made so much with so little, so little, so little work. And uh, we, we did good with the time too. I'm not going to lie. We did really good with the time. So if you add that to the six, well, look, first of all, if you add the 180 and 30, 34, we got some Uber Eats adjustment pay coming in. And what we had before, the DoorDash adjustment pay of 37, 37, and uh, the 400, well, the 550 dollars and 29 cents we had already made during the week. Guys, we are currently at seven hundred and ninety eight dollars and seventy five cents for the week and uh, right now the trajectory is heading towards twelve hundred dollars this week which it could be a mama food. seven hundred seventeen hundred dollars needed which means on tuesday which means on christmas day i gotta go out <laughs> i really don't want to but i might put on my santa hat and go out and do a little dashing or deliver some uber eats a lot of merchants are going to be closed so i might go out and do some uber eats or whatever i might go out and do some orders try it out i don't know yet i don't know yet maybe just for a little bit maybe make a hundred dollars and guys tuesday has to be a four hundred dollar day but my son doesn't have school, my wife doesn't have work, so I could just go out and just stay out all day. Five, four, five hundred dollars. So let's say, let's say, okay, let's say I go out on Monday, and let's say I go out on, let's say I make five hundred dollars between Monday and Tuesday, right? That means I'm gonna need twelve hundred dollars for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Five days. Guys, it is possible. Let me just put it out there. Two hundred dollars a day. $500, yeah, I might have to go out Monday. If I go out Monday and make $200, and f I, I could make it happen, guys. $5,000 this month, it is a reality. Let's make it happen, though. But guys, I'm your boy Dom. Thanks for tuning in to yet another one. I know this outro was long. Me trying to figure out if I could freaking make $5,000 this month, but it is what it is. I think I'm going to push, push, push and try to make it happen. Look, you see, I didn't go out the last two days and now I'm trying to catch up. Should have gone out, make $200. Every dollar would have come in handy. But anyways, man, guys, I'm your boy Dom. This is Gigabyte NYC. Like the video if you, you like it. Comment, let me, let me hear your thoughts down below. Subscribe if you're new, man. What are you waiting for? 
hit the subscribe button, especially if you got all the way to the end. And for the people who has been supporting the channel, appreciate you 100%. Much love, much respect. Prime boy down. Remember, this is still the chase. Peace out and Godspeed. Guys, talk to you tomorrow.